Hello everyone and welcome to the Windows Penetration Testing Essentials course. So let's take a look at uh, what this course will be covering. So first of all, we'll get started with our first section that will cover how to set up our lab or virtual hacking lab. It will involve setting up our penetration testing distribution, which in this case will be Kali Linux. And then we'll take a look at how to set up all the various other Windows virtual machines uh, with VirtualBox and how to set up our very own NAT network that will segregate our network from any other networks that are currently running uh, in your home office uh, or on your student network. Secondly, we'll be taking a look at information gathering and service enumeration, one of the most important steps in the penetration testing lifecycle. So we'll be covering how to perform information gathering and service enumeration with Nmap. And then we'll move on to exploitation, the most exciting phase. We will cover the exploitation of Windows systems. We will take a look at various Windows vulnerabilities like the Eternal Blue vulnerability. We'll take a look at how to generate payloads with MSF Venom and how to encode them with the Shikata Ganai encoder. We'll then move on to privilege escalation and persistence. So this is where things get really, really interesting. And again, we'll be focusing on various post-exploitation and privilege escalation techniques with Metasploit. Uh, we'll then move on to password attacks, which is again, very, very important because you're able to uh, enumerate or to get all the passwords of accounts on a system. And then I'll be showing you how to crack them with John the Ripper. We'll finally move on to generating advanced payloads and this section will involve uh, using tools and frameworks like the Shelter Framework and Veil Evasion to generate uh, really advanced uh, and encrypted or encoded payloads that you can use on Windows systems. Our final section will involve a simple challenge. We will be going through the Metasploitable 3 challenge where our job will to actually perform a penetration test on a virtual machine that is specifically designed to be vulnerable. And uh, this machine is a Windows Server 2008 box and will really encompass everything that we have learned so far in the course or that we should have learned so far in the course. So the, here are some of the prerequisites for the course. Number one, you need to have a basic knowledge uh, of Linux commands and a uh, basic understanding of Linux system administration. So you should be able to know how to navigate the file system, how to start and stop services and how to uh, actually view or deal with the network stack. Uh, secondly, you need to have a very basic understanding of TCP IP, know the difference between IP, the IP address, the MAC address, know the differences between ARP, uh, know, the diff uh, know how to analyze traffic within Wireshark. And then finally, you need to have a basic knowledge and understanding of the Windows operating system. And of course, this is limited to the file system uh, running various commands that uh, enumerate information from your command line, like IP config or net users, so on and so forth. That being said, I'm really excited to get started and I'll be seeing you in the first section.